What up guys, we're finally back into the manga. Here's my review for manga chapter 663. So it starts off with Sakura basically just freaking out that Naruto was dying. And then she, like after Gar was like kind of explaining what Kurama wanted him to do, I thought it's going to happen because it's the only way that I could save him possibly. So I thought that Gara was going to tell Sakura that the only way to save Naruto is to give him the other half of Kurama, which was basically true. So I'm glad I actually got that right. So they're going to take Naruto to Naruto, whatever he is. And then what was kind of interesting to see is that Sakura basically put her hand right inside Naruto's chest to freaking just, you know, kind of keep his heart going in a way. Just keep on doing those, um, instead of chest compressions, he went on ahead and gave him mouth to mouth while holding on to his heart with, 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 with a little chakra that he had, or she had. So then we cut over to freaking Karin. Now Karin wasn't gonna let Toffee die. So I like this. Like she went up, no fucks given, and then got wood pierced all through her. And then after that, she did not like. It was balls that she actually just took it and bit herself to heal herself. And then here comes Sogetsu with the water gun right to his ear, okay? That was a boss team. And then after having that body stunned by the curse mark, here comes Orochimaru. So now we know that somebody is in there because we saw an ear. And he obviously has something to do with Orochimaru because he has a curse mark. So. I mean, who could be inside of there? It could be Yamato, and, um, I doubt it's Anko, but it could be Yamato in a way, because I don't really know anyone else that would have the curse mark that would be inside of there and would be, like, make him be able to use the Mokotun, unless there's some, I don't know, so. Then, here comes the whole plot twist that was kind of like, like, it wasn't really acknowledged that much in this chapter, but it just felt like it like been there, done that, and it kind of didn't seem too much impactful. So Madara just absorbed the Ghetto Mazu's chakra, and now he's the Sage of the Six Paths. He is now the Yubi Shinjuriki. So I mean, he still doesn't have his other eye open. So. I'm guessing that there's not much he can do yet, but he's just waiting for his other eye to open up and then he'll be able to reach his full potential in um, that mode. So, I mean, this time we didn't see the Juby actually getting um, revived, but instead he just went on and became the Juby from Jerky. So it's kind of interesting to see something change like that, but we've already seen Obito do it, so. I mean, Obita was close enough to actually do it. Madara is twice, if not ten times, as strong as Obito. So how will they actually... I mean, they haven't really had any significant power change. Unless, so uh, unless Karin can actually save Sasuke somehow. Because, you know, she does have Uzumaki Chakra. And that probably could be enough to actually save Sasuke's life. So I can see Karin saving Sasuke's life and that can see Naruto actually stealing the other half of Kurama inside of Naruto so that was that was my that was my prediction I had in my, my, my manga talk I said that I think I said Kurama was gonna heal Sasuke and free him from dying and Naruto was gonna get the other half of Kurama so that's kind of interesting I got it right it's the only thing like cuz it's like the only thing that could happen in a way because there's actually no one else to to actually save them. So Karin who has to who has Kushina's chakra, which confirmed Kushina's chakra, so Karin he is somewhat of a badass to be able to like survive that blow and everything. So she possibly could heal Sasuke and save his life. Now at the end of the chapter we see feet. Now if you looked at Madara Madara's feet they were kinda like they were kinda shaded in black so does that mean that he has some other clothing, like boot, not boots, but um, some other shoes on that could have been black, or was that just a shadow? Cause 
uh, if we know Karin wasn't wearing any shoes or nothing, so she still she was still barefoot. So that could be Karin. I don't really think it's Madara because Madara probably wouldn't care too much about Sasuke right now because he's just overwhelmed with power. So it could be Karin because of the feet, and those were very those were very feminine feet to be honest. I mean, like if, Mad if that, that's Madara's feet, then he he has feminine feet. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so in the midst of all this, we probably gonna get Sasuke and Naruto back. Naruto will be back to his full potential in every way, and he will be kind of like shocked and pissed off that he almost died. And Sasuke will be too. So I'm surprised to see how Kishimoto actually gives them character development for that, like make them freaking pissed or something. And Naruto, he finally got his kiss from his woman that he wanted so bad, even though he's half dead. So. Yeah, if I got that kiss from Sakura though, I can give him props for that. He did a good job. It'd be funny if Naruto just like got up and like, haha, bitch, it was my plan and all alone. Wanted this kiss. But yeah, everyone is basically screwed because Madara. No one really cares that Madara is the like, the, um, Jubi Sinjuriki right now. He's just there and he just like, they don't care. I mean, all they're worrying about is Sasuke and Naruto just dying. They don't really give two shits about Madara, right? they're like, we're handing you later, <laughs> we gotta say our main two people that can fight, okay? They're the only two people that can actually do something against Madara, right? so I'm interested to see how that actually folds out, so thank you guys for watching, be sure to thumbs up for this awesome chapter, it is really, really getting great, and I'll catch you guys later, peace.